Hello everybody, this is Intrepid83 and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy X HD. Alright, we uh, are on our way to the command center at Maester Seymour's request, so let's just make sure I did everything else, but I forgot to check the uh, equipment last time. Alright, let's go back to the uh, Brotherhood here. Under shield, uh, Rod of Wisdom, Echo Wing, Hunter Spear, Red Armlet, that's good. Lightning Strike, good. Seeker's Arm Guard, Magical, Tough, Shimmering, and Metal. Alright. All right, let's start making our way up there. Hopefully it's not too far. Oh, well, thank you. Appreciate it. <coughs> Pardon me. Whoa, whoa, that's quite a path. <laughs> we could be here for a while. And there are indeed new enemies, and here's Crusaders. here's three of them. That's actually half of them, but anyway, half of the new ones anyway. All right, we've got Lamashtu, 475 hit points each. Hang on a second, I'm gonna scroll down here. <laughs> 275 hit points each, uh, to, uh, 413 damage to overkill, uh, heavily resistant or resistant to magic, and is weak to fire, as you can see there. It has 20% uh, resistance to sleep, silence, and darkness as well. So, yeah. All right. So there's that. Obviously, we're going to be going. To, it's also yeah, it's armored as well. So that's probably going to be one of Oren's probably going to go after it. Next up, we got the Gundariwa. This thing is 148 hit points, 220 uh, hit, uh, damage to overkill, weak to water, as you can see there. Again, uh, resistant to magic, and again, like the Lamashtu. 20% resistant, resistance to sleep, silence, and darkness as well. And then finally we got the red element, and as you might be able to guess, who's going to be going after this one? <laughs> Obviously Waka would probably be the uh, go-to for the Gundariwa, unless you've got a strong enough mage to be able to get the uh, overkill with it, but uh, well, maybe I'll do some testing with it, but... Uh, <clears throat> red element, 450 hit points, 675 to the overkill. Uh, is resistant to physical physical attacks and uh, weak to water, as you might be able to get, or uh, water, ice, as you might be able to guess. So, yeah. uh, nullifies sleep and dark and 20% uh, resistance to silence. So, yeah. Alright, so in that case, uh, looks like Titus isn't going to be doing too much here, so let's uh, bring in Orin, because the Lavash 2 can do quite a bit of damage. Hey, and Orin can actually kill it, overkill it. Alright. Bring in Waki to see if you can take out the Gundariwa. And no, not quite. <coughs> you could equip the uh, the water ball if you like, uh, or, or not the water ball, the uh, power ball. Uh, but I figured, well, if we run into the floating eye, at least we'll be able to overkill one of the enemies here. Because, yeah, the floating eyes, I do believe, are still here as well. Uh, this is also where, if you remember back when we fought uh, Sin's, uh, Sin's Fin, or we saw, fought Sin on. Uh, Yes, this leaky. I mentioned something about potentially grinding for a water ball from that that fight. You may want to equip it on Waka here as well, so you can overkill the Gundry was. So yeah, right, and then Kamari, let's uh, use, use lens it there. All right, let's bring in Titus. Titus. No problem. Defend against eh, swapping weapons would probably be better for this situation, but. Oh yeah, and also on our way up here, you want to make sure you have both Valifor and Ifrit. More importantly, Ifrit's uh, overdrive gauge filled, so yeah. But uh, mine are already charged up, so I shouldn't need to worry about that. Alright, and Blizzard to uh, finish off the red element there. <coughs> Almost for ducks. <laughs> hey, it's Lucille. Hey. Eh. Aww. I'm trying to mash X, see if I can catch her. Guess not. And here's another new enemy the Funguar. Weak to fire, as you can see, 540 hit points. And in order to overkill it, I actually don't think Lulu. Oh, never mind. She should be able to overkill it. Never mind. <laughs> 
So yeah, 810 damage to overkill, so yeah, weak to fire. Uh, one other thing you might want to be careful of is that it also can cast fire as well, so one of the weird situations where the, the spell it casts is it's also weak to it kind of thing, but yeah. Uh, also, you kind of want to be careful about physically attacking it, because it can trigger a, an ability called uh, Pollen, which attempts to put everybody to sleep, and you have no protection against it, so chances are it'll hit, so yeah, as you can see in the... Uh, the ticker up there so generally you kind of just want to one shot it if you will. Alright let's bring in Waka. Take care of the Gundariwa. And let's bring in Lulu to take care of the uh, Fungior. Well, I guess either Fungior or the uh, Red Element whichever you choose. But I'll take care of the one that uh, can inflict status elements. Oh she can't overkill it. Alrighty then. Uh, I wonder why that is. Yeah, maybe my uh, best gear is a little off in the stats there, at least my resources were. Anyway, but there we go. Oh, it looks like Lulu is not able to overkill it. Unless that was a really, really, really uh, weak roll, you know, kind of thing. But, uh, uh, yeah, let's bring in Yuna. Anybody need to be healed yet? Uh, no, not in this line. Orin. And then have Lulu finish it off. <coughs> Pardon me. Ooh, and I forgot to give Titus a turn. Oh, well. I'll try not to do that too much. Alright, uh, you know what, Titus? Hey, how's it going? Oh! Whoa! I hope I'm not putting you out by this, but thank you. It is greatly appreciated. And here we got a thousand gil. Wow. Probably could have used that to buy some potions. <laughs> Anyways, oh, there's a safe sphere down there. How are you supposed to get down there? That one. Here's a familiar face. <laughs> but yeah, uh, the uh, safe sewer down there, that's not really important right now. Uh, we got to get to the uh, command center. Don't want to keep the maester waiting. All right, here we go. We got Garuda again. This one's a bit stronger than the other. Well, it's a different version than the other two we've fought so far. This one has 4,000 hit points, as you can see. Uh, 560 damage to overkill. And uh, yeah, not weak to anything, not strong to anything. Uh, 20 Nullify sleep, 20% uh, resistant to silence, and that's about all you need to worry about. Nullify is petrification as well, but I don't think we've got any way of dealing with that yet. Or I guess he might have gotten something from, uh, I don't know, I can't remember if uh, the Denonics in uh, Kilika dropped uh, stuff like that. Uh, no, no, okay, so I guess we have no way of inflicting uh, petrification yet, so there we go. All right, see, let's see what Titus can do with his physical attack here. All right, so he's probably going to need at least one cheer. Uh, for Yuna, I need to heal. Eh, Kamari can probably hit, take care of himself. All right, let's bring in Waka. <coughs> there we go. How? Uh, yeah, it's good. Kamari is uh, health. Let's bring in Orin. I guess it wouldn't be a bad idea to use Power Break on him, so why not? I think he's still got the same abilities as his uh, previous brethren that we've run into so far, so... So, yeah. Uh, Yuna, I don't think we've got a turn for her yet, but do we need to heal with these two here? Uh, yep. Another two added to the... Uh, Hey, and there she learned it, the healer overdrive mode. Sweet. Alright. And let's bring in Lulu. Well then, what next? Yeah. See if we can get this Garuda to chill out a bit. No. Ooh, wow, even she can almost overkill it. But anyway. Yeah, might as well just heal Lauren. So yeah, after this I'll probably be switching Yuna over to the healer overdrive mode. So yeah. Charges, overdrive, charges her overdrive 
uh, every time she uh, heals somebody, actually heals them, not just cast them. So, yeah. Alright, it's going to be a cheer. I'm going to throw a couple cheers on Titus, I think. Just to be certain. Uh, <clears throat> pardon me. Yeah, let's have Orn. I was going to have Orn guard, but I yeah, probably don't need to. Uh, yeah, she can heal herself. I think she only needs, like, to heal, like, 2 HP, but still. <laughs> and one more cheer, and then we'll uh, take this thing down. What is this? Okay. For some reason, I thought the Groot has dropped uh, uh, ability spheres, but no. Of all the enemies in this area that I've got on my best, Jerry, the only enemy that drops ability spheres is the dual horns, and I'm not even certain can't remember for sure if uh, we actually run into them along this road here so yeah another good reason to uh, make as much use of the getting the uh, ability spheres on the uh, Meehan high road there so yeah and that should be it there we go and he has got a full overdrive gauge uh, speaking of overdrive gauges you have probably noticed that Eunice is over <laughs> Eunice is Eunice's overdrive gauge is filled yeah do we really need to worry about um, it doesn't look like it, so yeah, I think it's probably still safe to use Titus's overdrive as you need it kind of thing, so yeah. Or as it comes up, so yeah. Uh, come here. Let's continue on. Oh, there she is. She stopped. We've been expecting you. Please proceed to the command center. Alrighty. The presence of a maester and a summoner is great for the troops' morale. Myself included. Thank you for being here, my lady. No, anything we can Depending do. Depending on the way things turn out, we might suffer casualties. In such an event, we would be grateful if you could perform the sending, my lady. Well, that's up to her, we but... We may have to fight here as well. Stay alert. Alrighty. We may have to fight... As much as we... Don't want to see Yuna have to do that dance of death ever again. If it means one last dance so she never has to do it again if they, because they defeat Sin, I think we can stomach, stomach one more. Anyways, here we go. We got another enemy. I think there's only one more after this. This is the Raptor. <clears throat> Pardon me. 200 hit points, uh, 300 to overkill. Uh, resistant to magic and uh, weak to ice, strong to fire and thunder, and 20% susceptible or 20% resistant to sleep, silence, and darkness. Seems to be a theme going on here. Also, this is probably one of the first, one of the few enemies that is actually immune to Titus's uh, provoke attack as well. So if you thought about using it there, then don't really need to, but just thought I'd mention it. So take up the uh, raptor there. Let's bring in Orin to uh, deal with the Lamash do. This ends now. We only need to get Kamari his damage. Let's bring in Yuna. Ooh, and yeah, I forgot to switch her uh, uh, overdrive mode. Uh, to this, yep. And then Waka, and then Yuna. In case you're wondering what Yuna's overdrive is like, uh, I was half expecting to do to show it that video, that uh, battle, but yeah. eventually I will. Really new. We may have to no, fight. Okay. Yeah. Hey, it's Shalinda. I did it again. I forgot to switch Yuna <laughs> to healer. There we go. I may as well mention it now. About Yuna's Overdrive, it's called Grand Summon. Basically, it doesn't matter what Aeon you have, you summon with it, it guarantees that Aeon to have a full Overdrive gauge when you do summon it. And I believe 
If you summon an Aeon whose overdrive itself is full, I believe that allow, uh, Grand Summoning it allows you to unleash its overdrive twice. Uh, so without having to recharge the, over, the uh, overdrive gauge in between. So if I'm mistaken, please let me know, but I think that's that's how it works. So just something to keep in mind. I think I actually tested it in preparation, but again, one of those things I just forgot. Got it. But uh, my brain didn't retain it. Uh, oh yeah, and uh, yeah, this is failed that a few times as well. <laughs> All right, anyway, so, Shalinda, they let Shalinda through too. I wasn't able to stop them, as you can see. But seeing their fierce determination, I couldn't just sit there. So I decided that I would do everything in my power to help them. Truly, I know nothing of the ways of fighting, but I do know some white magic. I'm hoping that will be of some use to them. Well, I'm sure it will be, Shalinda. Uh, yeah. Is there anything I can do to help you? So yeah, talk to her, and she'll, uh, I think, the third time, and yeah, she can actually heal us. So. Uh, no, you know what? Save your energy. We can. We've got our own healer with us, so we can take care of ourselves. But uh, yeah, she'll heal your HP and MP. So yeah. And I used to be good at path once. <laughs> I thought I still had like one more enemy to to demonstrate on on screen, but no, I've actually demonstrated all the new ones here. So yeah. And in this chest, partially hidden by that uh, pillar there, we get a high potion. Ooh, hang on. We got the remedy, right? I think we did. Well, if we didn't... Well, well, maybe we can get on the way back. I really need to stop forgetting to do this. <laughs> Especially considering the next area we're going to be going to. So, yeah. Uh, Alright. Oh, it's Helma. Or... We may have no, to that's fight Lucille. Here as well. My Stay apologies. <laughs> Just a chance to talk to Elma. Oh, well. Don't want to distract her from her duties. Oh, it looks like we're. Oh! X Potion! Whoa! Where'd you get this thing? But it is greatly appreciated. Thank you very much. Let's go over here. I wonder what's down here. Hey, in this chest we get a serene armlet. This I believe has the Dark Ward and Berserk Ward on it. Armlet was Kamari? Yep. Yeah, Dark Ward, Berserk Ward. Oh, pardon me. Having that could be useful. Uh, when Kamari starts becoming the uh, mage I intend him to be. Alright. Who are you, sir? How go things? Oh. And he gives a 400 gil. Wow. Well, that's. Definitely covers all the bases. Oh, thank you very much. Alright. Uh, let's head over here. Weird looking side path. Uh, this. Yeah. I don't even know if you can see that on the screen there, but yeah, right here is the Albed Primer Volume 10. It kind of blends in with the uh, the path. Kind of tricky this one, so yeah. Ooh, just got promoted, I think. Maybe, whatever that means. I don't know. Alright, uh, anything else we need to grab? Uh, nope. I just did a test in that battle with uh, Kimari's Lancet against the Funguars, and it looks like that can trigger the uh, Pollen attack as well. So it looks like magic or physical attacks can trigger it, so yeah. Good idea to try and one-shot those, I think. <laughs> so, yeah. Alright. And it did not escape my notice at the beginning of that battle that I forgot to swap people around again. But I just did it now, so as a Alright. 
Oh, there's got a... And we get a Mega Potion, another one. Wow, thank you. Very much, very much appreciated. Oh, there goes Jack. Got him. All right. Uh, yeah, let's take care of this food grid stuff here. Why not? Uh, you could do it now. Actually, yeah, I think I will. Just no. we can still run into enemies up here. So yeah, I think uh, yeah, I think I'll pass on this for now. Maybe I'll do it a bit later. Let's fall. What's going on down here? Hey guys. Why only you, sir? I want to fight too. Orders are orders. I'm not a cadet anymore, sir. Let me go with you and I'll prove it to them. Guarding the command center is important too, you know. But I came all the way from Besaid to fight Sin, sir. I know, but an order's an order to your post crusader. But, sir! <clears throat> Yeesh, what was all that about? They let you through, huh? Hmm. Gata deserves better. At least there's no chance he'll get hurt. Good Why point. are you guys fighting anyway? Aren't the almighty Albed Machina enough? They still need some time to get them ready. Our job is to keep Sin at bay till they're done. get another chance to say this. It's about your brother. Luzu, no! What? I'm the one who convinced him to enlist. <sighs> I'm sorry. to play blitz together chapu used to say he said that when we won the cup yeah he proposed to lulu and then one day he goes off and becomes a crusader just like that <sighs> chapu also said to me that being with your girl is good But keeping Sin far away from her is better. Lu, you knew? Luzu told me before we left. <laughs> she hit me too. All crusaders in the vanguard are to assemble on the beach. That's my cue. Luzu, don't die out there. <laughs> so you can hit me more? Lots, lots more. <gasps> Sir Luzu, please, please don't go. I have to, Yuna. Let him go. The man has already chosen his path, as you did when you became a summoner. <sighs> it would be a long time before I ever really understood the reason why Yuna let Luzu pass that day.
Jeez, what a bomb to drop. stick around here off screen and get one more sphere level for Lulu. And I think I will. Which way do I want? Magic or... Let's go with this stuff first. More relevant I think right now. magic nodes up there. Alrighty, let's double check this stuff. Wow, looks like you is catching up to Titus in the agility department there. It looks like Goron's finally caught up to Lulu in terms of agility. Wow. What a thing to tell Waka. Well, he is going off to battle, so I guess he felt he had to let it tell him to come clean. Not just, well, probably mostly to Waka, but since he told Lulu as well, you know. Sound like. I really hope Chapu's reason for joining the Crusaders isn't what convinced Luzu to, or isn't what Luzu used to convince him to join. But in any case, it's in the hits. All in the past, he's no longer here. Play it by year. In any case, it looks like we're here. Guess we have to head up the lift and uh, go see what it is Lord Seymour, Mr. Seymour wanted with Yuna. And uh, I guess I get the feeling the uh, the fight to come isn't too far away if it takes place. So. Next episode could be an interesting one. In the meantime, yeah, as I said, I will probably stick around here just to get Lulu one more sphere level before next time, just so we can get her the Ephira ability. Yeah, another good reason why we wanted more uh, ability spheres as well. We've got to, uh, we've got a, uh, a, a, a reasonable supply of them right now, so that we don't have to worry about them too much, but still, I still want to keep, keep on overkilling and getting that fear spell will help out immensely in the next area for doing that so yeah and also uh one more thing uh no it's no, never mind we didn't we haven't gotten it yet so i won't say anything about it so yeah so yeah i'll get lulu that one more that one last one other sphere level and then uh, next time we'll head up the lift and uh i guess head up to the command center this is Intrepid83 signing off. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please hit like. Liking the video allows other people an easier time in finding the video so that they can enjoy it as well. Hitting subscribe and enabling notifications if you haven't done so already allows you to keep up with the series here and any future videos I upload. And uh, also, welcome to our community. And feel free to share this playlist with any friends, family, anybody else you think might enjoy it as well. Uh, the link is in the video description, and as always, comments are welcome in the are welcome. Just please keep them spoiler free and speculation free for uh, for all the people that have not had the uh, 
have not experienced this game's this game or haven't played this game, haven't experienced a story or anything like that. So I would appreciate it keeping it spoiler free and uh, speculation free. This is Intrepid eighty three signing off. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Be blessed and have a good one.